Hi there, my name is Paul Willems and welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to enrich our keywords and start our internal research. So as you can see, compared to the last video, I've updated my Excel sheet a little bit. What I did is I placed a red border around the important keywords here. So how to solve a Rubik's cube is important and Rubik's cube four times four and Rubik's cube pattern. Uh, this is how to do a Rubik's cube. Those are the words I'm going to use for my keyword research. And this is nice if you a red border around it because you can make a screenshot of this and this is nice to present for your manager or present for your customers if you want to do this uh, for a living. And you can explain why you choose these words based on search volume trends and competition. And next to it, I've made a new table and the table is called internal research and the, um, it, should, I should, it should be a little bit better because it's, this is the page and here should be also the page and here should be also the page. Um, what I do now is I want to see for my own website, my solve the Rubik's Cube. This is actually a demo website, so it doesn't work at all. Uh, so I know for sure that every detail will be zero and uh, zero means no, not visible or no details. And um, what I need to do is the first word that I got here, how to do a Rubik's Cube, I need to investigate how good does my own website score for this word. So the word how to do a Rubik's Cube, if I do a Google search for it, I will get probably some pages. And if I do it with quotes around it, I will get a little bit less pages and I will get a lot of YouTube pages. But the first real website is this website. Uh, I won't see my own page, I know for sure. And if you, if you can see it or if you do a search for it, you won't see it. So there's actually no page for it. And uh, how to do a quick search if your own page uh, is available in Google, just copy your URL, go to Google and say, okay, I want to search for this word and the site needs to be this. So site and then your own website, it will be zero. But as we saw before, if I go back and let's say this website for whatever it is, I use this website, I do it like this. Uh, it should get, give results because there's at least one website. So these are five websites where the page is. What I need to do now is get the Google position. Well, I found out there's no Google position as well. Um, but if you have page five, it is not good because you are behind page five. So I can also say uh, larger than 50. That should be, I think, a little bit better. And it goes also for these. The number of Google results, that's actually what I just so showed you. So if I say, if I get the keyword here, so how to make a Rubik's cube and make it like this, and then site, how to solve Rubik's cube, it's zero. But if you have an existing website, which has Google findings, then you will see it here. So that should be zero. The keyword density is zero. Uh, there's no value in title for my website, not in URL, not in anchor, not in H1, not so. Everywhere, there's actually, uh, it, it is never uh, optimized. But I want to show to you how it works, how you can find everything. So I'm going to use a different word just for an example. Um, and I, I use the word uh, Rubik's Cube. And I'm going to use that for an example. And in the next video, we are going to, we are going to investigate the competition. Then we will find a lot of results. And those results are actually the same as these results, but you need to do it now. Analyze it for you for your internal research. So I'm going to analyze it for this website, ruwix.com. That should be the website. And, and the Rubik's, so it's in position one. So that's good. So Google position, it should be for this website, number one. Google results, that's the Rubik's Cube and then sites it's rubix.com 
and then you see there's 33 results. So that's pretty good. Then the keyword density, the page I'm going to use, it's probably the page on, on uh, which has number one position. And here you can, you have a lot of text. And what I actually want to know is when I do a search and I do a search for the uh, Rubik's uh, cube. And here is uh, the words. So there are only two words, Rubik's cube, you see there and there. So only on two words can be found. And that's not a lot. So what I do next is compare to all the words in the websites, what percentage are the words on the Rubik's cube? I'll, I always do this really easy. I do control A and I select every text, control copy. Then I go to Microsoft Word and I'm going to paste everything uh, special, just like unformatted text. And here is really all the text in the website. And that's a lot. And if I press here at the bottom, the number of words, then it's got 1056 words. So that's a lot. And if I do a small calculation, 1056 words and only two words with the keywords, then the density will be two divided by 1266 uh, times 100 is 0 0.19. So that's not, that's not too much. So this will be the keyword density. Then I need to know if the word uh, Rubik's Cube is in the title. And if I uh, go to this, this website, so this, actually the page, this is the page which is important. And uh, what I need to do now is look into the source code of the website. And this is really tough because now we need to, to investigate the code of the website. And don't panic, we are going to dive into the code, but it's not that hard as you, as you can imagine. There are other options too, to find things, but uh, we do it like this. So we are going to uh, right mouse click on a white piece of the, the page, and then we say view page source, and then we have a lot of code here. And what we are going to do now is actually search for some items, so that is title, and this will be the title, which will be displayed in Google. So I do Control F, and then I need to do Meta Title. And what I see here, there's no Meta Title. And if there is a Meta Title, there's a title, and this title will be the title which is available in Google. And as you know, this website has got really a really good title and a number one position in Google. But this is not the title that the website has given Google and the description either, although it is both in the description, the website is not optimized because meta title is zero and meta, meta description is also zero. So you need just to, do, uh, to look in the code for meta title and meta description. Oh, meta description isn't there. Is the text in the URL? So is the text Rubik's cube in the URL? Well, that's something you can just you can just view. So let's go back here, and here we see now there is Rubik's cube, but the Rubik's that we had was with an X, and it's not in the URL. So that should be zero as well. And let's see if the Rubik's is in the anchor. Easiest thing to do is just to uh, search again on the page. So it's Control F, then you search on the page. Uh, Rubik's cube, but it's strange. Now we only find one. And oh, if we just scroll down, we find two. So the first one is here, but it's not a URL. And the second one is here, and this is a URL. So is it in the URL? Yes, and it means it is there, and that's good. Is the Rubik's in the H1? Actually, uh, if we search on the in, in the codes and we search for Rubik's, then we can see here Rubik's, but it's it, this is a hyperlink. Here's just in the, the page. It should be like you see here, H1, and then it should be after this one. So it's not in the H1, they're also not, they're also not. And what is an H1? Here you see a big title, and a big title can be H1, and the first title, so that's the most important sentence of the website, that's the H1. And if you 
if I inspect here, so I can show it to you nicely, then you will see here, um, this here, here is the H1. So H1, step seven, orient the last corners of your Rubik's cube. That's the H1. So unfortunately, zero. <laughs> is it in the picture? So also there, because we only have four Rubik's, we can see it's uh, easy. H, A, we have to find it when there's a code of an image, like EMG. I will show it to you. Uh, EMG, this is an image. If it, the code has image, then, it, it, there, then there's an image. So there's 33 images, nuts. Here's also not the word uh, Rubik's. Here's the Rubik's, but it's the wrong word. Subscribe, no. Bingo, you see here is an image and it's got a pic and this picture has got also solve Rubik's cube complicated. And this is smart, but it, it's, it's also in the alt text. So if you move over the image, then you will see uh, the word. So this article is really optim optimized for Rubik's with an X. So that's good. You see it? The name here is Rubik's with an X. So that's the name of the image. And the alt text, that's the text. If you, uh, if you point your mouse over the image, you will, see, you will see a yellow box with text. And that's this text. So the image and the alt is both, for, is both optimized. So this is one and this is one. But for sure, our own website doesn't have it. And the last one, Alexa value, and this goes only for your own website or this website. So if I, if I copy this website and then I need to go to Alexa, uh, Alexa sites info, then I will come to a website that's called alexa.com slash site info. I can paste a domain here. And I can say run analysis. And here is information about this uh, website. And if I scroll down a little to the bottom, let me see where it is. There's the Alexa rank. And this number uh, is important. The lower the number, the better it is. So, well, it's quite good. So 35057. 35057. It's not important to have the number. If you have an external analysis, then it's important to know uh, what is good and what is not good. But for now, if it's high or if it's not high, it, it is optimized. So it, it has a Google position. Uh, it has Google results. Uh, there is a keyword density, uh, although this must be below two, uh, above two. No, so no title, no URL. <laughs> it is in the anchor. It is in the picture. It is in the alt text. So the score of this word Rubik's cube for Rubik's should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of ten. So that's pretty good. And well, we uh, analyzed it for an easy word for a good scoring website, but if you analyze it on the word how to do a Rubik's cube, it might be a lot more complicated. So now I showed you how to analyze all these factors and uh, how to get the score. And based on this score, you can say, well, this website is pretty good optimized, seven out of 10 for, uh, for Google. And uh, well, it seems because it's got a number one position. Well, the same analysis you need to do for your own website. So search Google where your own page comes up. It might be page 50 or 60 or position 50 or 60, but that page will be the page that you need to analyze. Always analyze just one page. It's not possible to get a position from one page and an anchor text from a different page. So always for, for one page. And maybe you have written a page for how to do a, a Rubik's cube, but it doesn't score high. Then always, of course, analyze that page except for the Alexa uh, value that has to do with authority and that goes for the entire domain. My website is new, so I really have no positions and on these good keywords that I've analyzed. So in the next video, we're going to do the external analysis. That's it. I hope you liked the video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel.